Napoleon. Yes. So she has to go to the POS system, ring everything in, come up with the total, come back to me, get my credit card, put the credit card in the machine, print it up, bring it into the kitchen, bring me back my credit card and my receipt. That's the way she does an order. Is that how it goes? Yeah. Is that how it goes? You don't even know? I do. Why are you asking her? All right, we're gonna get you guys in a line here, and then we'll take turns getting your orders, okay? Are you the sweet heat? The sweet heat? Yeah, thank you. So, hold on, what are we doing? Um, your bartenders can't take an order and do a transaction? So, in other words, to take care of your customers, they yeah, all yeah, have yeah. to line up. Yes. So that guy yes. has to wait to order from you and then go. So they're standing there like two idiots that can't do anything. And this is the way you run this place? Have you ever seen a bar in the world that did no, this? No, the counter service. Folks, have you ever seen a bar operate like this before anybody? I thought you'd say that. I've seen a lot of things in my days, but I have never seen somebody run a bar like a hamburger restaurant. It's lunacy. I don't understand how these people even made it eight months. So more meat than like two yep. much? Okay. How we doing? So we're going off of their old system, John, and Kira's running the food out herself. So the cook is cooking, running it out, but you have these other tickets. So every time you get going, you gotta stop. Yes. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yes. This is the worst run bar I've ever seen. You have no chance. As good as you are, you have no chance this way. Yeah. But we will fix this. OK. Ed, are we selling drinks or hamburgers? What are we doing here? I don't get this. Why can't they do transactions and sell drinks? I can take a third step. So they've never so, done that before. So no, no, everybody's done it. Well, then why are these people standing in line, Ed? No, let's no. shift it to three stations. Let's form three lines. Three lines. How about they sit where they like and they get served like a real bar? Is that what everybody would like? Yeah. Well, everybody, come on, everybody, Ed. Everybody, let's grab a seat and we'll be out there to take your order, OK? Strips. Hi, have you guys got to order yet? Oh, no. If you want to order food, you can order that through us. Yeah, we're going to take one of all three. Uh, communication is all over the board. Nobody knows what they're doing. They're used to people coming to them, and so they have no idea. They don't have table numbers. They don't have a system. So I need a mile-high spritz and a pickle jar. What do you guys so, able to And we have no tickets. Yeah, no yes. printers. We, we have. We've got tickets. I just wanted to tell them the drink order so the food order could. So how is there. she going to remember that? And how are you going to remember that? And how is she going to know what table it goes to? It's on the ticket. So, but the what ticket? You just verbally ordered it. To I don't, she I mean, doesn't I mean, have a ticket. You're right. You're right. I, I'm going to grab the ticket from my back. So, so now when you give her the ticket, is she making two of those or one of those? She's making one of my house. So one you're going to say her, this is the ticket for the drinks I just ordered. That's valid. Like, this is ri ridiculous, man. It's completely chaotic. Okay, we got three chicken robbers coming. But we did not order shots. So how did you get that? She just delivered it to us. Cause... It's a gift. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's a gift. Nothing here, guys, huh? Nothing here. Not okay. Water. Did you order food? Food, and I asked for water. She told me to get out and get it myself there. I'm seeing two guests right over here that look like they're waiting for service. I would, I would jump on that. Okay, look. Ed, it's over. You made it about a half hour, and that's it. I must tell you, I want to apologize to all of you on behalf of Ed. This is the worst managed bar I have ever seen in Bar Rescue. I've never seen a bar that has no table numbers, no seats, no servers, no systems behind the bar to do transactions, no recipes. There is nothing here. What you're asking of your customers makes you a complete ass. Huh? You have no guest sensitivity, no desire to serve, no desire to come through for people. You are probably the least sensitive, worst bar owner I have ever seen. Huh? Now apologize to them for your shortcomings. Say it. I am sorry, everybody, that I let you guys down. I really hope you guys give us another chance because we will make this right. No, I will make this right. Please come back in two nights, everybody. We'll show you how it's done. Certainly, he's not gonna. It's not a terrible name, Casbah. I just don't understand how they're presenting it. I'm yeah. not quite sure where the door is. I would have no idea how to get into that bar. $15. So they pay five bucks each to get into that place. It's empty. I really think you should just go see how you get served. See if it's any better. They got frustrated at the table, so now they're going to go to the bar. We were wondering if we could actually get a different one of these. It's a little bit strong. Maybe. Too strong? Yeah. OK. Crazy. Now she got to add. Ooh. Oh, 
my God. She, she just Why? poured their drink Why? back into a mixing glass, and she's about to shake it again. Rather than make them a fresh one. Exactly. Boy, that's a first for me. I've never seen that before. Uh, that is just laziness. This place is a joke. No wonder why it's failing. So they're looking at the menu. It looks like they're about to order here. Yeah. Nuggets. Y'all want to take this receipt to the window? To the window? What window? She just told them, here's your trick. Go pick up your own food when it's ready. Like this is a drive through Let me go walk and get this food. I guess, look, like, whatever you are. There's two waitresses there, but they're not going to serve the food to them. What we're looking at is a completely unmanaged business. All right. I can't believe it. Styrofoam container inside a club where they had a stack of plates that they could have served them properly on. This don't make any sense. This right here doesn't happen. A nightclub, guys. This is a nightclub. Are you serious? Did you ask for it to go? Did you ask no, for it No, I here? told him that we wanted it here. Oh, chef, I'm going to lose it. it. It's, it's, it's blowing my mind. I want to know who the hell made that decision. I'm guessing it's the owner. Where is Shelton? I haven't seen him in a very long time. Holy Man, this is a lot of fried food. Like, I just got one to share. I'm not trying to gain weight while eating my meal. I just want to have a little snack and then go back to party. All right, guys, let's go to the elevator. Go! We're open! Hey, guys. Hey there, welcome. Welcome to the airliner. I think we're going to do one spot to rest and one Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're poor, man, can't you? Yes. Mm, yikes. What happened? I'm short. Right now, we're in the pre-show mode. They have to sell a cocktail to every guest in our room before the show begins so we can get in around two during the show. Do you want food yet? Yeah. What would you like? Um, three of you. This ticket is for you. You're going to give them this ticket. You're going to drop it off right under there where it says food. So they're going to yell at your number. That is, yeah. that is so confusing. Trust me. Jesus, I... Lord of mercy. Yeah. Who's next? Tequila salad. Tequila salad. You got it. Got to be quick, guys. Got to be quick. Got to be quick. Look at tequilas. At least he's running circles around you guys. You got to do multiple things at the same time. Fill two cups. Carry that one. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Order 16. You want to keep it open or close it? Um, close it. All right. Number five. Food. Do you yell our number? We're going to when we get it all together. Uh, it's yeah. kind of coming up in bits and pieces right now. All right. All right, play me up those spring rolls. We got to go. Cool, cool. Right. How we doing? This system doesn't seem to be working with this yelling through the window. So imagine we're having a conversation together, and every time they call a number, I got to stop and listen for fear that I lose my food. This is unbelievable. If you miss them calling your number, you're in trouble. It's a waste of time going back and forth, and it puts the burden on the customer to get served rather than us to serve them. Show's about to start. Make sure these people have drinks, all right? Anyone else want a tequila? One, two, three, four, five. You got all it. Day. Go, 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 go. There are three phases to a great music venue. Pre-show, show, and post-show. Right now, we're in the ground two. So I have a band, Psychic Love, performing to create that energy. You guys are not going to succeed if you keep moving like this, all right? Get your together. Here comes the other way. The first part of tonight's stress test was all about getting the first drink out before the band played. We did that, but there's no service out here now. Nobody's attempting to sell drinks to all of the people watching the band. And our guests can hear their number called when the band is playing. It doesn't work. All right, guys, so the band is about to finish. This next run, we got to be quick. <laughs> people are coming back, guys. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Ah, stop doing that. See, that breaks is gonna go all in your eyes. It's gonna slow you down, okay? You got it. Number five. I didn't even hear you. Number five. Bingo. Did we give you this? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Take it while you can, you know yeah. what I mean? Well, that's what we're going for. I hear you. <laughs> Getting the food was a hassle. Yeah, taking the an order to the counter and then waiting for your number is kind of uh, a rigmarole. Yes. One more. We got two tequila sours. Wait. I need this bar top clean. This is disgusting. Make sure your bartenders have everything they need. I like the water. Uh, at the bar. Next, everybody. Who's next? Let's close it. What the f are you kidding me? This is this is me out. How long does it take you to do each transaction? 10, 50 minutes, yeah. So where are your credit card tabs? They're all over there because there's one credit card machine. So you guys have to wait to share that one machine, too? Absolutely. This is unbelievable. This makes no sense at all. These procedures are going to kill us. One more? I never got my food ticket. You wanted the... Cheeseburger egg rolls. Nadia, let's see what you got. Come on, George, do this. Good, good, Talk to me. How are we doing? We're not doing well, John. The first drink before the show, they did OK. There was no service in the show at all. They didn't sell one time. Nobody went out there. It's a 
missed opportunities. I don't think they have enough staff to really run the venue the way they're supposed to be ran. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do at times. Order 15! 15. 15! Who doesn't have a drink? Ah, uh, yeah. The airliner is crashing here. So for recon, I got Shay Farrell. Shay is a local who's a food blogger and creates a lot of food and beverage and nightclub content online. John Spies enter 360 Lounge Reloaded, a small nightclub with an L-shaped bar, a small DJ booth, and an underutilized kitchen in the back. You guys have your ideas? Type your name there for me. Just, yeah, just your phone number. I got, don't worry about your email, I got you. Why did you get your phone number? This is really weird. We you got your number. Let's we'll send you a text message. I right. also do social security if you really want it. All right, let me see. I got you. I want to find out what he's doing. Okay. This really bothers me. Okay. I'm going inside right now. Okay. That's him. What the? What are you doing? Getting the IDs for membership. Do you know that you're giving him your information for membership? Not at first. So you're taking their information without telling them why. These people came in here to have a drink. How do you feel about him taking a picture of your driver's license? You don't know who the hell he is. I would walk the hell out of here in a minute. What are you doing? Here's what I want to do. I want you guys to order drinks and food, OK? D here is my guest. Put your frickin' tablet away. Let's get a server over here. Let's get some food and drink orders in. I want to see what you guys got. Yeah, I'll be taking y'all's orders today. Boy, these are really sticky. Yeah, they are. They are sticky, right? I said these are sticky. She said, yeah, they are. <laughs> wow. I was going to get a Cosmo. You going to do the Cosmo? Yeah. Let's do okay. a Cosmo. And I'll take the grilled shrimp salad. I'll try the margarita. Okay. Try the margarita. Yeah, we'll do tenders. Yeah, yeah, we'll do tenders, yeah. All right, I'll put it in for you guys. <laughs> OK, wait. How do I bring in a Cosmo? No, got that. It's on the menu. What? So total, it's going to be 14260 Oh, I got to pay you before I get it? Before, yes. So we really? don't like, run like a tab. In order for me to print the ticket to take to the kitchen and to give to the bartender, we have to pay first. When we pay, it prints out an itemized receipt. So for this entire time, now that they haven't been making our food yet, they don't know to. Mm -mm. Napoleon! Yes. So, so she has to go to the POS system, ring everything in, come up with the total, come back to me, get my credit card, put the credit card in the machine, Print it up, bring it into the kitchen, bring me back my credit card and my receipt. That's the way she does an order. Is that how it goes? Yeah. Is that how it goes? You don't even know? I do. Why are you asking her? It's unbelievable to me that you could own this place for this period of time and not know shit. First of all, this whole thing seems so untrusting, so invasive. These girls were not comfortable when you walked up to them. Our menus were another bad swipe against us. Now she's running back and forth with a credit card for $145. I mean, come on. Would you come back to a place that that happened at? No, I wouldn't. OK. Well, we now know why you're failing, don't we? Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.